Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how to design this type of Pringle zero section design and animation in Figma. So let's get started. So I have already prepared the design system and all the images and content for this design. So let's get started with the design. So I will select the frame tool and pick this MacBook Pro 14 inch and I will place somewhere here and I will change the name to this. Now I select the frame and click on this layout grid and i'll make it columns and count is 12 and the margin is on 5 6 and the getter is static and i'll change the color like this so i already prepared the header so i need to drag it from my design system so and i'll place somewhere here and i'll add 20 pixel to the top like this now i'll lock this all now i'll add the content and buttons so i have already prepared the content so i'll just duplicate it and i'll place somewhere here i'll add 110 pixel from the top like this and i will let me adjust this text a little bit like here now i'll add the prinkle uh, image so i'll add a big circle press o on the keyboard and i'll draw a circle somewhere here and make sure i lock this aspect ratio and i'll make this 5 8 5 and i'll make sure this is around here like this and i'll change this color to all right first i will change the background color of this frame so select this one and i already set up the background color so i'll pick this one and i'll select this one and i'll select the color of this uh, prinkles uh, red color like this and i'll add the effect and layer builder and i'll add to 50 like this now i'll lock this one and i'll add this ship image and place somewhere here and i also lock this one now i'll select the first image so i duplicate and i'll place in my frame somewhere here and i'll make sure this is width is 220 and i'll make sure this is minus 15 degree and i'll make sure this is on middle and i'll place somewhere here like this so now i'll add the others uh, Sprinkle images in the bottom of this content so first i will add the text so i already prepared so i just need to duplicate from a design system and i'll place somewhere here i'll make it like here and i'll add a circle here so i just drag circle and i'll make it 100 make sure this is selected and now 100 is okay now i'll select the color so i'll select the sprinkle red color like this and i'll add the image so i already added this one so now i'll add the other one so i just need to duplicate it and i'll add a space between like 30 pixel like this and i'll change the color let me add another like this and i'll change the color to this uh, yellow and i'll select this one and i'll change the color to this blue one so now i'll add the other images so i duplicate it and i'll make it like weight is 40 like this and the rotation is like this and i'll place somewhere here bottom i will add the 10 and this is good now i'll duplicate uh, the blue one like this and i'll make sure this is minus 15 is rotation and the width is 40 like this now i'll place somewhere here i'll make sure this is left is 22 and the bottom is 10 like this now i'll adjust the spacing bottom so i'll select all of them and make sure this is 80 pixel on the from the bottom like this and i'll select this one and i'll make sure this is on the 40 from the top like this now i'll do i'll select this one and this one make them group and also select this one this one make them group and also i will select this one and make them group so our first sprinkle frame is ready so i will duplicate this one somewhere here and i'll change the name to yellow so now i'll do i'll select this one and i'll make sure this is which is 40 like this and i'll place somewhere here make sure this is on top and i'll do 22 left and 10 pixels from the bottom like this now i'll select this one and i'll add this here make sure this is 220 like this and also this is middle and i'll add like here now i'll change the background blur color so select this frame make sure this is you are in the right place so select this one and i'll change the color to this yellow one like this i think i need to bring it to the top let me quickly bring to this top like this now i'll add the blue one so just need to duplicate the frame i'll change the name frame name to blue and i'll do select this one and make sure this is width is 40 and i'll place this here make sure in the bottom is 10 and the left is 22 like this now i'll select this one and i'll make the weight is 220 like this and i'll make sure this is on middle and also i'll add like this now i'll adjust the space 
between the chips and the image like this now i'll select this frame and i'll change the blur color so i select this one and i'll change the color to this blue color like this so our design is almost ready so let's go to the uh, prototype option so let's click on this first frame and i'll go to the prototype option and select this yellow color and i'll link to this yellow slide and make sure this is on click navigate is good the smart animate make sure you select the smart animate and come to is in and out and i will add the 1500 millisecond like this so i'll select the blue one and i will add to this blue slide and everything is good make sure this is on click now i'll select the second one and i'll link to this red and everything is good and the blue i'll select this blue uh, frame and make sure this is on click now i'll select this one and i'll link to this red and again i select this yellow one and link to this one more thing i forget to mention is that when i click on this h images uh, the chips are uh, images rotating so select this uh, yellow frame chips uh, image and i'll make sure this is on minus 90 degree rotate like this and also the blue frame i'll select the chips image and i'll make it uh, 90 rotation like this one more thing i forget to change the contents for the other frames so let me quickly change this and i have changed the contents also the mapping angle hero section design and animation is completed so let's preview it as you can see the pringle hero section design and animation is ready hope you guys like my work don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and see you on the next video bye